And I'm questioning how do we know which way is the right way? And of course we are saying that Islam is the right way or submission to the will of God is the right way. I challenge you, pick up a Quran for yourself. Read it. Read it with an open mind. And then pick up a book about Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, about his life example. Read it with an open mind. And you will come to the same conclusion that I came to. That this book and this man cannot have been any normal book or any normal man. This must be from a higher source. This must be from that source which created the heavens and the earth. This book cannot be any other book. This book is like no other book. This man was like no other man. I, tell, I challenge you, study the life of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Study his example, study his way, study his traditions, study his sayings. And I tell you that those things have proof in them themselves that if you're looking for the right way, for sure you will realize and come to realize the same as I did, that Islam is the right way. Not only is it the right way, but it's the only way. It's the only way God has ever had. It's the way of Adam, it's the way of Noah, it's the way of Abraham, it was the way of Moses, it was the way of David, Jesus, all the prophets, peace be upon them. And it was the way of our final messenger, Muhammad, peace be upon all of them. And you will come to realize that this way is the way to connect with God and the way to eternity.